Let's do a project using layers and based on a photo. First, we'll open the layers panel. We will open oranges that's in your working files folder for chapter two. The first layer I'm going to make is going to be the photo itself. I can do that by selecting all and use the edit cut command or command or control X and then pasting command or control V. The paste command puts that into its own layer. And this is handy because we can now change the opacity so that we can use it for tracing paper. Now I'm going to create a new fresh layer that I'll use for making a basic sketch and I'll name it sketch. I now want to open a custom palette that will provide me with the items for basic drawing. If you don't see it in your list, simply go to the organizer and import it from the working files folder. But I already have it open. So I now have the basic drawing custom palette waiting for me. There are two pencil variants here, real 6B soft pencil, a flattened pencil, the scratchboard tool from the pens category, an eraser, a stump, and square grainy pastel, along with real soft Conti. Both of these are chalk-like tools that have a paper texture associated with them. So on the sketch layer, I'm going to use the flattened pencil with a dark brown, and I'll simply go in there and make some quick circular strokes to get some of the basic shapes. That should be about enough. I'm now going to create a new layer for solid color. Let's call that color. And I will use the square grainy pastel for that. But first I want to open the original oranges image as a reference. And I'll use that by using the reference image panel. By clicking the open reference image icon at the lower left, I can access any image. And so I'll choose oranges, click OK. I'll magnify that just a bit. And I'll use the eyedrop tool to choose a color, kind of a medium orange color like that. And then on my color layer with the square grainy pastel, I will just cover quite a bit of this area for the oranges. And if you recall why this is opaque and covering up my sketch, it's because that layer is still in default mode. If I turn it into gel or multiply mode, I can now see my sketch much better. I'm going to just increase the size of this tool so that I can cover more ground. Let's do that even larger. And now I'm really able to fill in quite a bit of the basic color. If I want to go back to the original size of that tool, I simply click the Reset tool. And now it's back to its original size. The color layer is separate from the sketch layer. I can move the sketch layer on top of the color layer and create a somewhat different combination between the two by changing the composite method, but I'm happy with default at this point. Let's make another layer for shadows, and I will name that the shadow layer. And this time I'm going to switch to the Real 6B soft pencil. I'm going to choose a darker orange from the reference image, and I'm going to make the color layer invisible so I can really see the photo much better. Now on the shadow layer, I'm going in here with this tool. I think I'll switch to the Real Soft Conti because I'd like it to have more of a grainy look. So I'll just fill in some of these shadows. Let's see how that looks with the color layer added and with the photo made invisible. Not too bad. Suppose I want to blend in some of those shadows. Use the Soft Blender Stump. By simply rubbing around here, I'm getting some nice blend. Would this look better if it were in gel mode? Let's go to gel mode. I don't think so. Let's go back to default mode. Now I think I would like to add some highlights. So that's going to be on its own layer and we'll make a new layer. And here I'm going to sample the brightest color in one of these highlight areas with my dropper tool. And I will go to the Real Soft Conti 
And in order to see where to place the highlights, I'll make that color layer invisible and make the photo visible. Now I can see this is where that should go on my highlights layer. Name that highlights. So I'm going to continue adding some highlights here. And let's just see how that looks along with the color layer. Not too bad. But suppose I want to make them a little brighter. I can do that by putting the screen mode on. And if that's too bright, maybe I'll just reduce the opacity a bit. Now that's looking pretty good. But I'll also want to do some blending with the soft blender stump. I believe I will eliminate the photo layer at this point. You can see the possibilities there for separating elements into layers. Once again, I think maybe the highlights is going to go a little bit less opaque. The shadow layer looks fine like it is, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try hard light for that. That's much brighter, but I think it doesn't quite work as a shadow. So let's try colorize go to gel and that's going to satisfy me. So this is the piece based on the oranges image. Now you try one.